why avoiding tinnitus at all costs is a really, really bad idea. Welcome back to uh, the third video on the seven video series for Tinnitus Week 2024. Um, yesterday, we talked about tinnitus in the mosquito bite. And if you haven't watched tinnitus in the mosquito bite, I can only recommend it because the more you scratch, the more it's going to itch. And uh, in today's part, I'm going to start by saying um, this is all about why avoiding tinnitus at all costs is a really, really bad idea. And it all starts with a humans with tinnitus episode. So the new format that I'm doing in 2024, uh, free coaching sessions for people um, uh, for 30 minutes. And I had one a few weeks back with Malcolm from San Antonio, Texas. And Malcolm shared this with us. The, the, what the audiologist told me is that silence is my biggest enemy. He said... You need to drown it out any chance that you get driving in the car or is and i'm like well is that really habituating to it not at all that's the opposite of habituating to it that's keeping this loop of reactivity alive because you're trying to keep it out as much as you can oh my goodness when i hear that man it makes me so anxious because it's it's the opposite of habituation you don't have to fear anything from the sound. What you do with sound therapy is you mask the sound because you continue to think that by all means you need to avoid tinnitus. You don't. And as you could see from my reaction, I strongly disagree with the claim made by this audiologist saying that tinnitus should be avoided at all costs. And here's why. Yesterday, we talked about the tinnitus and the mosquito bite and in the way that the more we focus and perpetuate the, the focus of negativity and anxiety and emotions over tinnitus, the more we're going to struggle with tinnitus. The more our problem-based brain says there is a problem, but we cannot solve it and this problem is causing us pain. And the more that happens, of course, the more the body gets activated and the more anxiety or frustration we experience. And what happens now if we maybe have an indication for hearing aids, maybe not. Um, uh, so I'm not saying you shouldn't wear your hearing aids. But what I'm saying is if you avoid tinnitus at all costs, you perpetuate this negative anxiety cycle. Because what if your hearing aids basically run out of battery? What if the sound masking that you're constantly doing, avoiding tinnitus at all costs, is, um, is, is, is making all this anxiety actually worse? Because once you do expose yourself to tinnitus, for example, when you take the hearing aids out at night, you can't sleep because then all the anxiety comes back all at once. So my story and what I want to share with you here, also the concept of habituation that I started sharing yesterday in the uh, mosquitoes videos is where we teach your brain and we learn to, to understand that tinnitus is a benign body sensation in almost everyone, not dangerous. And so what we need to learn is that it's not the tinnitus and the anxiety, uh, not the tinnitus, the sound itself that frustrates us, but the anxiety and emotions that come with the tinnitus that pose the challenge. And as long as we try to avoid them as much as we can, right? Avoiding tinnitus, we try to avoid those rather than teaching ourselves that they are not dangerous. It's a little bit like when you, I, I say this analogy over and over again, when you get bitten by a dog, it's not the best idea to avoid dogs at all costs. Or when you have a car accident, to avoid riding in the car at all costs. The best thing you can do is expose yourself in a way that is healthy and good for you without creating a major panic attack so that your brain slowly but steadily learns to disassociate danger and difficulty from what you're experiencing, right? So in my opinion, avoiding tinnitus at all costs is one of the worst things that you can do for your tinnitus because it will keep your brain in this perpetuating cycle of anxiety and difficulty. So what we talk about when we talk about habituation strategies, and when we talk about the program that we have created inside our mytinnitus.club community, then we talk about a, pro, a, a, a program of gradual exposure where you will learn that the thoughts and feelings that are connected to your tinnitus are what you really try to avoid, not the tinnitus itself. But the feelings, thoughts, and emotions that are connected with it that are difficult for you, that are coming back on a perpetual basis, um, those are the ones that you try to avoid at all costs. But it's not in the avoidance that you get better with all of these, but in the rec recognition of those and learning that the feelings and thoughts that you have towards your tinnitus cannot actually hurt you. They may sometimes be uncomfortable 
And yes, sometimes therefore tinnitus might seem loud and therefore your anxiety and you might feel it in your stomach or your chest or, um, or, or you might get frustrated, etc. I'm not saying that that doesn't happen, but I'm saying it's all because you have connected mainly and we use certain tools of CBT for that to say, well, you've started Googling, you started going to the doctor, they told you there's nothing they can do. Therefore, you've based your assumption that tinnitus is naturally something quite dangerous or difficult that many people experience major problems with. Um, and, and then therefore, very naturally, you try to find a problem solution by seeing, okay, how can I solve this problem? The more you try to solve it, the more anxious you get about not getting the result you try to do, which is solving it. And the more your brain connects this with a dangerous and difficult thing, the more energy you spend, the more your brain connects you're not being able to solve it on all this spent energy and you feeling drained and anxious all the time. So one of the most important things, in my opinion, is to actually not avoid tinnitus at all costs, to actually not say, let me, um, let me keep out my tinnitus at all costs at all times, because that perpetuates the negative emotional cycle. It's absolutely fine if you sometimes play some rain sounds or something like that because you want to lay down and, and take a nap or something like that, right? And that feels a little bit more soothing. But in the long run, you want to condition your brain in the way that it says, well, even with the perception of tinnitus, you can lay down and take a nap because it's not dependent on the tinnitus, but it's dependent on your emotional state and whether there is a cortisol and adrenaline released by your fear and panic based center in relation to the experience of tinnitus. And if there is not, and tinnitus is simply there, and you still take a nap, then you have convinced yourself that it's 100% totally possible to take a nap even despite experiencing tinnitus. So my, my opinion and what we share inside the, um, in, inside the club program at www.mytinnitus.club, uh, I have created a program based on working with 500 plus people in individual one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So of course, if you uh, want to reach out for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, I'm, I'm happy to um, schedule a 15 minutes discovery call for free for you. Um, but also under www.mytennis.club, you can find all those resources. So where we where I have combined all of what I was just talking about into a science-based behavioral framework that you can learn the thoughts and emotions that influence your negative avoiding behavior towards your tinnitus and slowly but steadily building the habits that show you that neither the tinnitus nor the thoughts, feelings and emotions towards your tinnitus are actually hurting you. But what is hurting you is this constant negative avoidance that keeps this perpetuating cycle of anxiety, negativity, reactivity, and focus on your tinnitus alive. So that's the reason why I believe that focusing on avoiding tinnitus at all costs is really something that you should try to reconsider um, because uh, A, if you do master tinnitus at all times, at all costs, then you will have certain situations in which uh, uh, all these emotions, feelings and negative um, events come back at full force. For example, at night when you can't really mask your tinnitus or when masking becomes difficult because you live with a partner and your partner is annoyed by the constant weird sounds that you're playing at night. Um, I put an earplug in at night into my uh, tinnitus ear. The other ear is deaf and I don't mind at all. I sleep normally, right? So it's all a question of the conditioning that you do that shows whether or not tinnitus poses a threat to your quality of existence and experience. And tomorrow we're talking a little bit more since we've been talking about avoiding tinnitus and hearing aids at the start. Tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more um, when hearing aids for tinnitus can actually be uh, sensible and when it makes sense to do where your hearing aids and when they can help you tinnitus. So I'll see you tomorrow. If you need any more support, go to tinnitus-guide.com or www.mytinnitus.club to join our program for a free 14 days trial. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a very short introduction here to our online tinnitus club. So as soon as you have signed up and I'll show you in a, in a minute how to, how to easily do that, um, you are directed onto this very first page. Uh, it's a quick welcome video where I tell you a little bit more about this club and everything that we have in store for you. We have a challenge going on to help everyone building the right kind of habits towards being able to habituate to their tinnitus. You can see there's a lot of engagement. And um, down here, you will see the tinnitus courses. So when you go down here, you can find the beginner's course that's included in all of these subscription. 
would go to www.mytinnitus.club and then you go to choose a plan and then down here you will find all the different plans. So for example, if you want unlimited access to everything for seven days um, to try everything out, then you can just get the seven day plan for $9.99, access to everything, enter your first name, last name, email and password, and you create your account, quickly put your credit card data in, it's all safe and secure. This is handled by the platform and Stripe, so it's all safe and secure, or you can log in with Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Apple. Um, for the other ones, we have 14 day free trials. So if you wanna check those out, you get 14 day trials on any of these packages, continue with Apple, and then just uh, agree these to these terms and conditions, and then you're set to join our online tinnitus club. Mm -hmm.